guys, we are back in Ruby in our second part of Object Oriented Programming Part 1, Virtual Computer. So we'll be doing, uh, using what we did in regards to the Object Oriented yesterday, or in last video, and looks like we'll be rebuilding a username and password using Object Oriented Programming. So let's go ahead and save and submit, and we'll continue on here. So um, first thing we want to do is create a class called computer. Pretty standard class computer. And give it an initialize method. And then remember def initialize. And uh, takes no parameters. The body of initialize should be empty. And then we're going to end that. And then we're going to end our class as well. Let's go ahead and save this submit. Did you create a class called? I think we need a capitalized computer. There we go. Now we want to update our initialize method to take two parameters, username and password. Separate it with a comma. Um, all right, and we want to set the username by doing username equals or at username equals username similar to the this dot name equals or this dot username equals username if uh, you're more familiar like Java that was the first language I use so often I'll be comparing equating it to that and create an at files instance variable and set this to an empty hash alright so let's see if we understand this correctly so at files and we want to set it to an empty hash like an empty string perhaps oh no empty hash like this. Cool. So, so far we're just setting it up our our code here. We haven't actually done anything with it yet. Alright, now add a class variables to your computer class. Alright, so uh, add users set that equal to an empty hash. Okay. In your initialize method, set add at users So in here, we need to set add at users to, we're going to fill up it with the username. This is going to be keeping track of every single one. And we're going to set that equal to a password. So it's kind of the, the key and the door type of thing. Like the username is what's inside the door and the password is the key to open the door to get that, if that makes sense. That's how I typically remember it. Oh. Inside your computer class to find a method called create. So we're going to find another method called def create. And let's go ahead and end that right away. Um, with a single parameter file name. So this needs to have file name. Inside create, declare a variable called time. So we're going to say time and set it equal to the current time. So apparently uh, Ruby has something called time.now, which uh, will uh, define it by whatever current time in your time zone, I'm guessing. Uh, next, inside create, add a new add a new key value pair to the app files hash using the file name to store the value time. So we're going to say app files. All right, so at files, and then here we put file name is equal to uh, time. And for the file step and create, please put some puts message telling you that the user file was created. So puts the file, oops, the file was created. And let's see if we did everything right so far. Cool. Um, now add a new class method to your computer class. Call it computer.getUsers. It should have no parameters. Alright, add a new class method. So def get 
underscore users. And, and in here, it looks like we might have to define it like this. Is what if I understand correctly. And we're going to return at at users. So this should give us all the user files, if I understand correctly. And after your class, create a new instance of computer and store it in a new variable called my computer. All right, so we this is our entire class. So we're going to say um, uh, new instance of computer store in a new person. All right, so we're going to say my underscore computer equals computer dot new, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then in here, we're going to say uh, my username is pizza poker guy. And my password will just be password. Save and submit. And bam, we've created our new instance. So there's a lot of stuff we could have done. We could have had it print out that the file was created and we could have called all that. But in this case, all in all, we were able to do what we wanted to do. Uh, we earned a badge as well. And um, it's pretty straightforward if you're familiar with object-oriented programming. Uh, maybe the hashes are a little bit, you know, it's like basically think of it as an array that opens an array value. That's the best way to think about it, if that makes sense. Uh, but up next, we're going to be doing object-oriented programming too, and it's called need-to-know basis, and so we probably will be getting into a little more detailed object-oriented type code, and I'll see you guys next video, and as always, any, any constructive criticism is always appreciated. Thanks, guys.